Hi and welcome at Meditation Monday here in my home in Holland. My name is Nanda from the Pure Awareness Center and on Meditation Monday I always share some insights on meditation and how they can improve your life or how you can deepen your meditation experience. Today I want to talk to you about connecting to your spirit guides. And in the last video, I already taught you a beautiful mantra. And the mantra I always use uh, since I've learned it <laughs> is a Kundalini mantra. And in that, within that mantra, you are acknowledging the light within yourself. And you are inviting your spirit guides to work with you during your meditation. The words are Om Namo Guru Dev Namo. And with these words, you acknowledge that you are in a sacred space, that you are setting sacred space to invite your spirit guides uh, to come and help you during your meditation. And after those words, you can have your personal prayer. What do you need help with in this moment? What do you want clarity on? Um, how can they support you in this phase of your life, in this day or in this moment? The words that I always use, uh, I have lent them first from my teacher and after that adjusted them. So maybe that's something you would want to do as well. Uh, the words I use is I call upon the guides of the highest truth and compassion to guide me through this meditation, to help me get clarity, get confidence on living my life's mission and spreading my light from my heart. And after that, I inhale deeply and finish with the words, thank you, thank you, thank you. It will be done. And after the, this prayer, I can already feel a shift in my energy. I already feel that the guides are supporting me and they start to work immediately after I say my thank you and it will be done. So it's really, really powerful which words you use in your prayer. I hope that you find your own or maybe you can lend this one for a while and see how it works for you. So who are your spirit guides? Have you ever had the, the honor to meet them, to see them, to feel their presence? Or are you just new in this and saying like, okay, everybody's talking about spirit guides. I don't know if I have any. Well, let me clarify something for you. We all have a spiritual team guiding us throughout this life. You have come to earth, you were born into this body, but you are part of a very, very big soul family. And some of your soul family are born in different other bodies here on earth. And when you encounter them, you have a kind of recognition, like, ah, oh, I know them. Or we talk the same language, or I really, really feel comfortable with this person probably somebody from your own soul family. But there are also souls, energies, guides that are part of your soul family and that have not incarnated into a body, but that have the mission and the purpose of supporting you in this life. And that's what I call spirit guides. So spirit guides can be just part of who you are. The same way that you are part of your family and that will never change, your spirit guides are part 
of your spirit family and you are part of theirs and that will never change either. And then there are spirit guides uh, like uh, power animals, angels, archangels, or other mystical creatures that can guide you on your special journey. Maybe some extraterrestrials or any form that you can see them. I think that um, depending on how your mind works, your spirit guides can also change in form a little bit. So if you really need more clarity in form, then they probably would appear uh, in a form of a spirit guide animal or spirit guide angel, uh, because you can relate to that. If you are a more uh, fantasy person, then they probably would show themselves in, uh, in mystical creatures that are more related to fantasy. And if you are more a person that is not very visual but feelings or seeing colors, then that might be the way that your spirit guides are talking to you and appearing in your life. I know also a lot of people that use nature as their guide because they are very, very much connected to this planet and everything that lives on this planet. So being connected to nature, that means that your spirit guides will probably show up in nature. Like seeing a beautiful swan or uh, walking into a tree that has a beautiful energy with it and that you really feel connected to in a way and maybe you even talk to trees. That really all depends on your perception of the world and your spirit guides are very flexible they just want you to be happy and they just want to guide you so it doesn't matter in what way you open up to your signals and signs from your spirit guides as long as you uh, have a consistency in this so if you are um, still searching for your way to communicate to your spirit guides, then let them know how you wish to communicate. Uh, for example, a very clear sign I always have um, is, am I on the, on the right path? Is a question I ask regularly. And when I see white feathers, that is a physical, very clear sign to me that yes I am and I am still surrounded by my spirit guides and they are still pointing me in the direction that I am walking in. So that's a beautiful physical way to communicate with spirit guides. And communicating with your spirit guides through meditation, um, that's a deeper level I think that really uh, being in conversation with your spirit guides, so getting your signs and signals from spirit, um, that's a very, very handy tool to use to guide you through your life. And then there is this way of communicating with your spirit guides. And that really is more of a conversation. So you can ask questions and you get a direct response. And that's what I will teach you in this lesson, in this guided meditation. I have recorded a guided meditation for you and you can subscribe to this channel, to the Meditation Monday channel to receive them or look in the Pure Awareness Center Academy. And there I will share with you how this conversation with your spirit guide comes about. Using the invitation to get your spirit guides to connect with you in your meditation with a beautiful mantra, that's number one. So you have to invite them. You have to say, okay, I'm ready to talk to you. Can you please come in? It's like calling on the phone. <laughs> 
And it's really, really beautiful to do it like this. And when you have invited them, you can silently start to ask your questions. Once you feel that you are surrounded with your spirit guides around you in your room, feeling like, oh, I can feel relaxed, I can feel some warmth behind my back, or I can see a clear energy before me, I know that I am surrounded with my spirit guides. Then you start to ask questions, the questions that are most prominent to you in this moment. And when you have asked your question, you just sit in silence, sit in your meditation, you connect to yourself, and be very mindful of the visuals that you see, the glimpses maybe of spirit animals or symbols that come, um, the sounds that you hear, songs that pop up in your head. In whichever way you communicate with your spirit guides, they will start to give you the answers. And once you have seen or felt or heard an answer, integrate that answer, acknowledge it, feel how what that answer does in your system. And then move on to the next question, if you have any. And when you have received the answers that you need in this moment, or when the answers are not coming anymore, that either means that the questions you've been asking are going into uh, a deeper layer and that you are not ready for the answer yet, or that you really need to improve your connection to your spirit guides and you need to have some more clarity in which way they can communicate with you. I advise you to journal about this, to write your preferred way of communication during meditation. So do you need clarity in vision? Do you need clarity in words? Or is an energy enough for you to feel what spirit is trying to tell you. Journal about this and let me know uh, how you are going with, the, with this lesson. Come to the Pure Awareness Center Academy to listen to the guided meditation or send me an email and I will send a link directly to you. Thank you for being on this Meditation Monday with me. Keep it pure. Thanks.